My name is Yves Kamurasi. I'm Edges Trust Country Director. Today at the Kigali Genocide Memorial, we have gathered to commemorate and to light candles for more than 8,000 people that were killed in Srebrenica. Okay, my name is Hassan Hasanovic. I survived Srebrenica genocide in July 1995. My twin brother and my father were killed in the genocide. My name is Najad Avdic. I am one of only a few who survived uh, Srebrenica genocide, who survived uh, uh, mass executions. My name is Fatima Klempic Daudbašić. I am a doctor from Bosnia. I worked in a war hospital in town Srebrenica, which was a safe area of UN. But in 1995, Srebrenica fell. And more than 8,000 people were killed by Serb forces. I saw uh, the, the lines and lines uh, of, the, of dead bodies. At that moment, they started shooting, and uh, I, was, uh, I, I, I was shot uh, in my stomach, in my right arm, and in my left foot. It was uh, terrible, it was awful, uh, my pain was unbearable. Somehow I survived, you know. I, if someone had told me that day that I would be able to work later in the memorial as a curator, uh, and I would tell him uh, or her that uh, he or she is insane. And uh, today I'm speaking in the memorial to the, to the people all, all over the world, telling the story of genocide, uh, telling my personal experience, and hoping that people would learn. I know that you, people of Rwanda, have very similar experience, that you had lost many members of your family. I would have this message for, for you in, in Kigali. I'm really so grateful that you remember Srebrni, the 20th anniversary of Srebrenica genocide. That, that you will come together, that you will speak about Srebrenica, that you will re remember our victims. I'm so grateful. Today, 20 years after, we know what was uh, going uh, there in Srebrenica. We know what happened in, in Rwanda. And uh, I, I, I have fear that uh, it uh, can happen everywhere. We need people to learn about this. We need the world to stop denial of genocide. We need uh, Serbia to recognize the genocide to the fullest extent. We cannot bring the dead back, but we can uh, learn from the lesson of Rwanda and other subsequent genocide, hoping that the world will finally come to its senses and stop the, the future genocide. As a Rwandan and as a survivor, we have seen or we have heard from the testimonies of people that survived the killings, some of the similarities of what happened here in Rwanda. My message to the survivors of Spernitzer as we commemorate 20 years, after the killings, after you have lost all your family or your children, it is possible to live. It is possible to have a new life. It's not easy, but it is also possible to live in a peaceful society through peace education which can help to promote empathy and critical thinking that helps people to live together again. I would like to be with you to tell you how I feel in this moment and I would like to be with you to light candle for your families and for our families too. You have to be strong as strong as we try to be. We have to teach young generations to not forget genocide we survive. God bless you.